Amongst other means, geophysicists use sound. Sound has some of the qualities in the earth that it does in the air, where you're used to hearing it. For example, it travels at a definite speed. So if a structure inside the earth causes an echo, then it will arrive back at the surface at a definite time. And that's related to the distance it traveled by the speed. Now, that's the second thing that sound does inside the earth that you're used to. It echoes. It echoes from structures that are of interest to geophysicists. So you set off a sound signal. It comes back in a certain time. That tells you that somewhere on a circle, the structure that caused the echo must lie. Do it twice from a different position, and you've got two circles where they cross is where the structure must have been. Now, it's not quite that simple because sound varies in its speed within the Earth. And in fact, it's necessary to infer the speed of sound along with finding the intersections of things that are like circles but somewhat distorted. That's a big problem. It's a problem area that mathematicians have worked to, in conjunction with geophysicists to devise efficient computing methods to find structures within the earth from their echoes.